Our guest is today Phil Krzyżak, General Manager, Healthcare Poland and Managing Director Merck. Welcome. Hello there, hi. Merck is celebrating the 30th anniversary of its presence on the Polish market this year. How has the company's activity in Poland evolved throughout this year? Uh, yes, you know, we've, we've been in Poland for 30 years and uh, actually all three uh, parts of our business are present in Poland. So we have uh, Merck Healthcare, Merck Life Sciences and also uh, uh, our electronics business. Uh, we employ now uh, over 700 uh, people in Poland and uh, actually we have two very important centers of, ac of excellence in Poland. So we have a, a service center in Wrocław, which, um, which actually is one of only three centers in our global organization. Uh, and we also have a regulatory center of excellence, uh, which provides regulatory uh, technical services to all the countries in Europe. Okay. Uh, is the company also involved in conducting research in Poland? Yes, actually, we're, we've, I think uh, over the time period, we've conducted nearly 47 uh, clinical trials. We currently have 15 uh, in operation across a number of academic centers. Uh, and Poland is a very important part of our, our research network. Yes, and which therapeutic areas are key for the company? Yeah, so uh, Merck actually is very proud that, that we, we help to create uh, improve and sustain life because uh, we, we, we we're involved in the fertility um, uh, medicines but we also uh, provide medicines for chronic conditions like diabetes um, and in fact uh, both in terms of neurology and oncology uh, we're bringing new products to the market to, to treat those patients and, and in actual fact um, you know for instance with uh, multiple sclerosis uh, it used to be a very, very debilitating illness, and, and now, um, uh, thanks to medications such as the one uh, that we provide, actually patients, it's, it's possible for them to lead a normal life. Um, so really, we've seen amazing advances uh, in, in treating that condition. And of course, uh, in oncology, you know, we're present with um, bladder cancer and also renal cancer and, uh, and gut cancer as well. So uh, we're very ac active in those areas. Uh, Merck is uh, primarily associated with innovative, innovative uh, therapies, but the company is also active in life science, like you said before. Could you elaborate on it by presenting some details regarding the company's activity in this specific area? Sure, yeah, our, our, yes, you're right. I mean, our life science division, actually, we have so, over 200,000 products. Uh, that we provide to support other investigators and other researchers. So for instance in Poland uh, we collaborate with 90% of the academic centers, we support all of the Polish producers, so if you like we, we provide the products and services to enable them to more effectively, more safely and more uh, quickly develop uh, their own innovations. Uh, what other sectors does Mark operate in? Yeah, our, our last sector is uh, electronics, actually, and um, uh, so we're very much involved in the surface solutions involved in electronics, uh, in microchips, but also uh, probably even in your own phone, uh, you'll find Merck uh, liquid crystal in the display. So, so we're actually supporting the electronics industry, also the car industry with pigments and uh, special pearlescent uh, paint. So actually quite a diverse uh, business. Okay. During this year, year's economics forum in Karpacz, uh, you have taken part in the panel a development strategy for the pharmaceutical market. Could you please uh, tell us what is most important for the development of the pharmaceutical market? Yes, um, I think two things. Uh, first of all, collaboration amongst all of the stakeholders, whether they're public or private, is really, really important because we need to continue to build uh, an innovation ecosystem in Poland to support future innovation and, inv and investment. Um, I think the second thing is when it comes to policy, uh, it's very important for, for instance, reimbursement policy and industrial policy and even educational policy to, uh, to be joined up uh, in their approach to trying to build uh, investment and develop the pharmaceutical industry. Innovation in medicine makes patients lives better do they however also bring benefits in other areas 
Yeah, well, obviously, um, you know, directly when we treat uh, patients, we alleviate their symptoms and improve their condition. But obviously that has indirect benefits as well. Uh, people are able to get back to work, they're able to socialize, so it has lots of social uh, benefits. Um, but also economically, uh, in terms of the investment and the input that we put into the economy, uh, there are indirect benefits as well. Does the development of innova innovative uh, solutions require collaboration with other actors, including from the public sector? Yeah, I think I, I mentioned before, I think it's very, very important that you know, we break down silos and that we, we have joint objectives to develop better health care for patients in Poland. And that, that does require collaboration. And we're very, very pleased to be part of the uh, uh, Warsaw Health Innovation Hub, which absolutely is, is a fantastic example of trying to drive those, those partnerships. But also, as I said, you know, through our own operations, such as life science, you know, we're supporting a number of key players within the industry in, in Poland and within healthcare.